It's that Queensland coastal town just four hours north of Brisbane. Bundaberg, a dynamic destination with plenty to discover. Bundaberg is just over 350 kilometres from Brisbane, slightly inland from our superb Coral Coast. The town is home to over 45,000 people, but without doubt its favourite son is the infamous Bert Hinkler. He was the person that everyone, you know, put their dreams on. His parents weren't very wealthy and he achieved his ultimate goal of, of being an, an aviator. I believe I can fly. In a brief lifetime of only 40 years, Bert became one of the world's greatest pioneer aviators. His achievements now honoured in Bundaberg's Hinkler Hall of Aviation. Colleen, I have never been able to fly a glider in a museum before. This is fantastic. You get to sit down and glide like Bert did over Monroe Beach in 1912. This is exactly what he would have been doing. I believe I can fly. Of course, the museum has plenty more on offer, from plaques to visual aids, photos, even artefacts from his actual planes. Another attraction here at the museum is having your photo taken by a box brownie right beside a replica of one of Hinkler's planes, the Avro Baby. Of course, when you're talking about Bundaberg, it's pretty hard to ignore the town's true flavours, the Bundaberg Rum Distillery and the Ginger Beer Factory. Plenty more to Bundy than just its rum. About 13 kilometres east of town lies one of the region's best kept seaside secrets. When it comes to beaches, you can't beat the pristine shoreline of Bagara. But it's not just about its white sandy stretches and the thriving turtle life on nearby Mon Repo. Beneath the ocean's ripples lies an underwater world like no other the southern Great Barrier Reef. Oh, it's amazing. Um, several weeks ago we had a marine biologist that did some diving with us and said that it was um, some of the healthiest corals that he's seen in a long time. Here at Bagara, the waters are stinger-free and full of reef life, meaning they're perfect for swimming, snorkelling and diving. So Keith, what sort of gear do we need to go snorkelling? Well, you need a basic setup. You need a wetsuit, you need fins, you need boots and you need a mask and snorkel. Now how much will this set us back? Uh, 30 bucks to hire for the day. Cheap, cheap. Yeah, it's nice. But of course, after a long day, the township has plenty of accommodation to offer as well. One place, Kelly's Beach Resort. Very welcoming atmosphere and we provide them with real value. Kelly's Beach Resort is set on five acres, a combination of lush rainforest and temperate gardens. The villas are all standalone and are family friendly. The resort is located just one block from Kelly's Beach, one of the main swimming spots in Bagara. It has a swimming pool, games area and a tennis court. Prices start at $116 a night. It's a family run resort, my family. Ah. Um, so yeah, we've got little tackers running around so um, we encourage everyone to be as noisy as our kids. <laughs> yep. So if you're after a relaxing break away from the hustle and bustle of city life, my advice, make the trip and rediscover our coral coast and country.